Hey, it's Heather K, and today's day 37. Um, I'm really excited because my weight is down a little bit. I had, uh, well, I'm under 180, and uh, I'm hoping, um, I don't know. I guess what I'm hoping to do is still fit my coat. Um, let's say Tuesday. I'm hoping by a week's time I get into my favorite winter coat, and you see me try it on a couple times. Today, to my surprise, I, I got on a few other coats. They're not quite where I want it to be, um, but I'm in them. Um, it's it's nice because losing, um, I don't know what I'm at. <clears throat> I think must be at like 12 pounds. Uh, I'm starting to see the difference in my clothing. Uh, clothes are more comfortable. Um, clothes I was too tight that I want to wear. Now I can see it's a possibility to get into them. And... Um, I guess what I want to talk today about is staying focused and motivated. We all struggle. That's why we're here. Um, uh, my water is at 5 today, and it's pretty late. Um, I'm going to maybe get two more in. And the real reason why is because I had a day out uh, today. I had two cups of coffee instead of one, and I knew it would interfere with my um, drinking of uh, water. I actually... Um, Gosh, my name, my name might not be even at five. I have to think about it, but I know i got to add a couple more water. I don't like adding water late at night because it could cause me to use the washroom, and I will try to get some in there because you got to stay hydrated. It's actually more important to you. At nighttime, it's actually good for the heart to stay hydrated. It's just that for me, i got to be careful that I don't get waterlogged. <laughs> so um, I just thought one of the most important things is that the brain will play tricks on you on this journey. Um, good friend of mine today was like asking me for advice and it's like, this is your life. You get to do whatever you want to do. It's just, oh, thank God. It's like, why would my opinion matter? I'm not the driver's seat of your life. You are at the driver's seat of your life. I found that interesting that my opinion was so much. So I said, is your brain playing tricks with you? She goes, yeah, I think so. So, uh, when you're on this journey, everything becomes a choice. I had a real good day yet again. Um, I'm still not exercising, but I got out. Um, my voice is my voice is raspy from usually from my asthma medication, but it's raspy from this uh, flu, and and probably it's going to get raspy again because I got to learn to live with raspy voice. And so the reason why I'm saying that is because uh, my medication that because my asthma gives me raspy voice, and I'm hoping that. Uh, breathing will be easier for me with less fat right here. This makes me snore. <laughs> I'm hoping to um, have an easier breathing way. I'm hoping not to get winded when I walk because I'm carrying too much weight. Um, you know, so one of the things I look at today's path is to stay focused. This board, I'm so glad, my friend. You know who you are. Lives in Millbrook, who has her own um program support program now uh from being part of mine she has her own group now hi to everybody and i'm gonna say her name in lisa's program i know you watch my videos lisa told me get the board going again and i have and i'm starting to see results and it feels good because um i even put my sticker up for the night knowing um i'm done eating today and uh knowing i'm not gonna eat middle of the night and it gives you strength it really does um and when you start feeling good about yourself and in your clothes, it takes on a whole life of its own. Um, the only thing is about it, it's just when you struggle in this journey, you got to realize it's you. No one else. No one else making you eat that food. And you can enjoy life. You just got to do it in moderation. You don't need to starve yourself. I mean, I mean if you want to go on a fad diet, I've been on enough of them to know they don't work. I mean, I've been on every one of them. I really wish people would challenge me and um, leave me a comment and, and ask me questions about um, these journeys. I've been on like drinks, powder drinks, protein drinks. I've, I've been on paid programs. Um, I lost a lot of money, but I needed it. Uh, so I recognize where a lot of people are. And a lot of people want to find a quick answer. There isn't none. It took time to put weight on. It's going to take time to take it off. And it's going to seem like nothing's happening. 
But one day you just wake up and you fit your old clothes better, comfortable. Um, that's about it. I don't really have a message, I guess. I don't know. I'm just just happy that my life is changing for the better. Uh, I know I'm down because um, my um, walk-in exercising is non-existent to maybe just to prove to you guys this is about food it's not about working out and so um oh i know that's the point there was one important point i needed to make today is that when i paid three thousand dollars to lose 40 pounds i lost it as a coach potato i was to show you i was surprised you could even lose weight by not doing anything the old me used to work out so much, really work out, give it my all. People think it's so hard. Where I'm at now is I do want to go start working out. I do want to start working on my body, but I need to lose weight first. You might look at me and say, well, you don't look that fat. <laughs> I, Heather K is fat in the middle, which is called an apple-shaped body, meaning I've got a whole lot of weight in my arms, <laughs> my legs, skinny. <laughs> I was going to actually take um, a couple straws and put them in an apple and say, this is me, this is another game, we'll do another day. So, um, <laughs> so anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm just thinking, I'm really happy today. Stay focused. Conquer your worst of what you think this journey's about. Like, subscribe. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you for uh, making me to start my board again. It helped keep me on track. I really appreciate it. See you tomorrow.